I have always loved Cebu. I am one bag. And I was invited to go to Cebu with a small and a group of our friends to judge for the Queen's Philippines pageant. Queen Philippines 2022. With patience and understanding. My heart is a woman. Always touching the heart of many. Love has no gender. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and we are going to Cebu! Bago music! Hello Cebu! I have always loved Cebu. Even as a reporter for the correspondence, we did so many stories in Cebu. I love the people. So, pagdating ko, diretso na ako sa pre-pageant. The pre-pageant is uh, where we meet all the trans candidates and they were so beautiful and amazing. Everybody may kanya-kanyang personality. And alam mo, malalim ang kwento ng mga ito eh. Hindi lang ito basta pampaganda, hindi. Marami sa kanila, they have their own advocacies. May ipinaglalaban sila. They're, they fight for equal rights. They fight for equality at work. They fight against discrimination. And I remember na-touch ako sa isa dahil one of the candidates even adopted her own kids. I am a proud trans mother. Wow! I adopted two kids. There are the reasons why I be here. Because I want to it's hard to all trans women out there. So parang to go through that whole experience of listening to their stories was such a special afternoon for us. Miss Patio City, you are representing a lot of body positivity. Regardless if they are plus size, they are from the LGBT community or what, they have to accept who they are, love, these, uh, love themselves because we can never give people what we don't have. So if you do not love yourself, then we cannot give love to others. The main reason why I am here because of three things. Number one, the pain of being discriminated against. Number two, the pain of being set aside and marginalized. And number three, the pain of being tied as someone. Who are the carriers of human immunodeficiency virus? You know you're so beautiful. And what makes you unique? Thank you. From the rest. Because my confidence is what I have to step up and to have crowned. Siyempre, doon ko na nakita si Smalls. Oh, oh yan! Yeah. Pwede na, pwede na. Ang ganda, tama na yan, <laughs> winner. <laughs> oh, ayan. Love it! Love it! Pinito. Oh, ang ganda! Oh ang ganda! Oh Sinin naman! Ang ganda! Ang ganda! Ang Pwede itong apat na bahay. Yung singsing niya. Sampung bahay. Ang nawawalang contestant tonight. Yes. Contestant number 31 has arrived. The whole gang was there. And ang saya-saya because it's the first time we saw each other. All of us. After a while, no? Ito sa kanto. Reina tonight. Ano bang hinahanap mo tonight? For the queen. For the queen. I, I bet for the Cordoba. Yeah. 
Ako oh, din like Makati daw. Oo, oh, oh, oh. may yung ibang Makati. Oh, oh, oh. Kasi oh, ang ganda ng story niya. And the Cebu City. Yung Cebu. Ay, ay, maganda kasi. Maganda kasi oh, siya. Oh, smart. Oh. So, may, meron ka na pala eh. <laughs> meron na ako. Ay, na. Punti ko nang ma-announce IG story. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at this floor arrangement, so nice. So, ang ka-birthday ko ay nandito ngayon, may ka-birthday ko. Wait, ito so una, Ate Carla. Ate! Ate! Sige, 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 pwede, pwede. Ito so naman, Ate. Diba, ano nang plano mo sa buhay? Balik sa Region 8 okay. para maka pagpatuloy dun sa inumpisahan ko even before, mga 20 years ago na yung pagkakawang gawa sa region. So siguro parang ngayon lang gusto kong tumutok talaga. Yeah. To more on sa mga kababayan ko. So kahit wala ako sa government, basta makatulong sa mga kababayan ko. And okay Masyado lang to kay Danielle? Oo. Uh, uh, okay. okay. Excited okay. si Danielle kasi alam niya ang puso ko. Oh. Kilala naman ako ng anak ko. No. Alam niya kasi kilala naman ako oh. noon. Aren't they getting there? <laughs> Sana nga soon para, kasi I'm, thir, I'm, I'm 47 now, para hindi naman, malaro ko pa yung apo ko, uh, okay, diba? Uh, At ang BFL, siya yung tatlo talaga. Ang uh, uh, BFL. <laughs> Quick question, because we are celebrating, you know, the transgender women ngayong gabing ito. If ever ba, tricky question, magkaroon ka ng anak na transgender, what would you think? Tatanggapin ko, because at ako, Kapag ang bata, hindi mo tinanggap, hindi nila mararamdaman, una na mahal mo sila. At more than that, they will not reach their highest potential. Tama. Ah, Galing talaga niya. Hindi totoo yun. At saka dapat sa atin pa lang bilang mga magulang, mag-umpisa ang pagtanggap. Yeah. Kung meron man tayong mga magiging anak na transgender, right. para mas taas nung sila makakaharap sa kapwa. Ang galing sila sa lawa! Kasi di magka-birthday ka. Yes! Kapag-alit yun. So, kung magiging anak niyo, ako okay lang? Oo. <laughs> Alam niyo, <laughs> pinabayaan ko na po sila kasi sila na lang pinag-aral ko. Kahit wala akong degree, basta yung mga kaibigan ko matatalino, perfect na ako. <laughs> 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 Okay guys, we're headed to the beauty pageant itself. Wait, una I wanna ask you, how do you feel? Everybody went wild. They told me! They told me I was in the lobby and they said, Oh my God, si Small! But I have friends security guards. Oh, security guard na po siya. Ito, hindi na ako ka-relate. Ibang level na sa gap. When I went up out of the area, there's fire. Hindi lang ako. Pati mo, pati mo ang hapon. Wala ka? I'm so sorry. Wait, my God, you have five security guards? Yeah. The moment I went out from the elevator, wala ka? I'm I'm surprised. Wala. Wala. Wala ako ng security guard. Now I'm surprised. Why? Why? Wala ako tagapat. Iba. Here, here, here. That's true, no? And guys, eto lang gusto ko sabi niya na excuse me. Alam mo, pag may pag yan, Dear, oh my. pag yung tenga mo, merong <laughs> yung tenga niya, mamaya may makakuha dito. Oh my gosh! Yan ako Dear. naman. My gosh. Iba. Eto na tayo. Over oh, here. My. Where will we go sa Globe? Globe down to the other part. Uh -huh. The main pageant was Saturday night too, so it's that same evening. Clear, clear, clear. Let's do a nice Let's be with us. 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 us. This is 
Um, tonight is the first time uh, I'm judging the Queen's pageant. So this is a trans pageant. And makikita mo naman, sobrang gorgeous ng mga girls. Oh, super. Sobra. Kamu ka nila si Techi at si Karen. No, si Bang Lebo. Mas maganda sa amin. Osmond. So, uh, are you ready to judge? Is this your first judging? No. no? Second time you Second, 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 second time you went together. Second time you went together. We went together. Here. Before. We went together like long time ago. Also, ang tanong ko sa'yo, what do you look for ba when you are choosing the winner? Choosing, I like to really someone who's really beautiful and smart. Beautiful and smart. Should be beautiful and smart. Gusto mo ba mas maganda sa'yo? Mahirap yun. No way! No way! No way! Live at the Pacific Grand Ballroom of the Waterfront Cebu City Hotel and Casino, it's the 2022 Queen Philippines Pageant! impressed with the pageant ibang level ang production it is world class so i have to say carrie santiago you are a genius and the team behind it and you know to be sitting there judging it was like miss universe level ganong level ang galing ng production numbers Doon sa costume competition, grabe, hindi lang basta costume ang suot nila. They were literally wearing yung kultura ng kanilang bayan. I remember, eto tuwang-tuwa ako, one of the candidates, dala niya mismo yung sarili niyang bagyo. Last December 2021, a strong catastrophic cyclone hit my beautiful city, including Cebu. Wearing a Typhoon Odit national inspired costume. <laughs> that tells how strong, brave, and resilient we Filipinos. <laughs> Mang ang hinayhay! Kumbaga naka-production talaga at mismong parang set na halos ang dala ng ibang mga kandidato. And alam nyo, each and every category talagang alam mong all the candidates gave it their all. Ibang level ang paghahanda. There were early favorites in the pageant. Of course, I believe Miss Cebu was a favorite because of how she looked and talagang she won many of uh, the minor awards already so I think many of the judges thought that Cebu would be of course one of the top winners pero alam mo like in all beauty pageants lagi may sorpresa yan eh lumalabas ang sorpresa sa question and answer and how you win the audience over Don't be afraid to show who you are because we are beautiful. Every time we join pageants, we win. And fighting for our rights in a very peaceful way. Ang dami sa kanila ang galing sumagot. Tito, si Miss Depolog, bigla na lang she wowed the audience with her answers. I remember, tumayo pa siya. It's not about how you entertain people, but it's all about carrying a certain persona within you. Mm -hmm. Because whatever that person you carry, a certain persona within you, that's actually legacy. Am I right? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your top seven for Queen Philippines 2022. How would you respond to a five-year-old kid who asks you, why are you a woman? For a young child, 
They can be anyone they want to be. With patience and understanding. My heart is a woman. It's always touching the heart of many. Love has no gender because whoever you are and whatever you are, you matter. I will touch his hand and put it in my head, my heart, and my hand. And tell him that a true woman has the tri portrait of the meaningful individualism. The mind that understands, the heart that cares, and the hand that works. Ladies and gentlemen, Queen Universe 2022 is the Bolog City Win Win and Sorella! Yes, Nung nanalo si Miss Dipolog, I think all of us were surprised, but we were also happy for her. Lahat ng trans candidates are winners in life, and just to be there up on stage was a victory in itself. And the next day, Sunday, was actually the, our last day in Cebu. So technically, overnight lang talaga ako. And this was special because we were going to do a birthday lunch for two of our friends, Bea and Carol. ang dadaldal ng lahat ng tao dito. So, may, ka, may, may kakumpitensya si Small. Sa kadaldalan. It was such a bonding moment for us also over lunch kasi we shared what we learned during the pandemic and it was quite emotional. So, um, there were so many learnings for us all. Everybody that was there just shared really such su something touching about their pandemic experience. And then, ang nangyari, that building kasi is owned by Marikita Yung. So, we went up and we toured the building and it was such a beautiful building.
It was such a wonderful Cebu experience. Cebu, I want to go back. I love Cebu. 